Hello everyone, in this guide I'm going to tell you where all the legendary fish are located, which lures you need to capture them. Now, quick heads up, I am in the post game, so if you want to avoid any spoilers, make sure you click off this video and return once you've completed the main story. Now, this is all tied to a stranger mission. You can see the location there on the map. We're going to talk to Jeremy. He's going to give us a quest. The quest is going to be to find 13 fish and then mail him all 13 of those. That is part one. There's actually a second part, which I'll tack on to the end of this guide. But first things first, talk to Jeremy. He's going to give you a map showing you kind of roughly where the legendary fish are located. Of course, I'm going to show you precisely where they're at and which lures you need to use. Now, speaking of lures, each of the different fish, depending on what type of water they're in, is going to require a different lure. So let's go to the bait shop, and you'll find it here at Legrasse, and where you see the bait shop icon there on the map. And we're going to go in there and purchase three lures. That's all you need is just three. Catching fish in this game is not very difficult. Once you have these lures, you're only going to catch the legendary fish. The, the regular variants of each of the species, each of the breeds, aren't, aren't going to uh, nibble on your lure. So it's not too difficult. But you want to purchase all three of those. They're $20 a piece. Not too expensive. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is the steelhead trout. This is up in the top right corner of the map. You need a special river lure. So make sure you equip the, the proper lure to the fishing pole each time. Now throw it out in that area and you should catch the steelhead trout, the legendary steelhead trout. And that sucker is big. Now I'm going to take that, put it on my horse, but I'm going to go to a second fishing spot and eventually drop that thing off. So I'm going to go to the perch. This is going to require the special lake lure. This is just a little south of Ansberg, uh, south of that first fish that we captured in this pool. And I, I'm assuming by this point you probably know how to fish, so I'm not going to run through the actual mechanics of fishing. It's not too difficult. So there is the special lake lure. Now, we don't have to, to stow that on the back of the horse because it's tiny, so we'll just put it in the pouch. I'll then go drop it off in the post, mail it, and then head over to uh, in Van Horn to this location where the muskie is. And you're going to need a special river lure for this. You kidding me? Yes! <laughs> so this one we're going to have to stow, but we're real close to the uh, post, so we can just go ahead and ship him off. Now I'm going to go get the bullhead catfish. You can see this is kind of on the, uh, the island over here. You're going to need a special river lure. This one, for some reason, took me a little bit longer to catch. I don't know if I had too much coffee at this point. I don't know, but eventually I finally catch him. Throw this little sucker in our pocket, and then we'll move on to number five. And that is going to be the long nose gar. And you're going to need the special swamp lure for this. So the first time we use that. This guy's, uh, this guy's pretty aggressive. He's going to fight with you. Again, make sure you're just not reeling in when he's fighting. Just kind of just wait for him to tire himself out. Just like every other fishing game we've ever played. And now we're going to go uh, have to drop this guy off. But then we are going to go down by St. Dennis. This is going to be a railroad bridge here. I'm just going to stand on the top of it, praying that a train doesn't come by. I'm going to get a lake sturgeon with a river lure, the special river lure. Now, I actually just drop my uh, lure pretty much in the water. In fact, for many of these, you don't have to cast it out very far. And if you don't cast it out very far, it's actually quicker and uh, faster to, to reel the fish in. Cast it out real far, and you're going to have to struggle and take a little bit longer to uh, to land them. Now, the special lake lure is going to be required for the Blue Guild. And this is just uh, west of Rhodes. These guys are fairly simple and easy to catch. But as long as you place your lure in the right spot. Now, if you come up with a different type of fish, you're not throwing the lure in the correct spot. So just readjust your aim. Now, if you head over to the Dakota River, we're going to get the chain pickerel here. And it's going to require the special river lure, of course. So throw the lure where the uh, the icon is on the map, and you should be just fine. All right, so we're going to make our way around here. This is near Strawberry, the lake, the big lake nearby. The smallmouth bass is here. Make sure you're standing on this side of the coast that I'm at, the shoreline. If you stand on the part south of it, you will actually uh, 
catch muskies instead of the smallmouth bass. Now, as long as you cast in the right spot, you're not going to you're all you're always going to catch the legendary version of the fish if you're using the special lake lure. You're a fine bass. And this thing's a little, a little big. That is definitely a legendary side. Now let's go. Let's go way up north here. We're going to get the sockeye salmon here in Lake Isabella. We're going to need a special lake lure for this one. Uh, this one is actually got two different breeds of fish. So if you're not catching uh, the the salmon here, you know, the red fish, you're not throwing it in the right spot. I casted my lure pretty much out in the direction that I'm looking at right now. You kidding me? Yes. <laughs> Quite a salmon. Very colorful. All right, so now we got three more fish. These are kind of on the southern end, uh, fairly close to the where you're gonna go in the epilogue, and you're gonna get the rock bass here in this lake, in this basin. You, you don't need to have uh, gotten to the epilogue portion of the game in order to, to come to this uh, lake, but you will travel more this way in the epilogue. So that special lake lure is required for the rock bass. Just get to the end of this dock and then just cast straight out in front of you. Again, it doesn't have to be too far. All right, so now we are heading down into the new Austin area. And we got Stillwater Creek, close to Thieves Landing. And if you use a special lake lure, you should catch a red fin pickerel. Now, I did actually catch a different type of fish. I threw it a little bit, uh, cast it a little bit further to the left, picked up the wrong one, casted it a little to the right, and I was able to uh, get him. Now, the final one, the largemouth bass, is going to be in the very southern uh, edge here along the San Luis River by Lake Don Julio. And this thing is definitely large. <laughs> You're the damn fish. So it shouldn't be too difficult for you to actually do the fishing itself, just as long as you know where, where you're at, which lures you have to use for each of them. Now that's it really for the guide. However, once you've caught all the fish, make sure you have sent them to back in the post, sent them back to Jeremy. Once you've sent all of them back to Jeremy, you're gonna have to wait 24 hours and then after 24 hours, come back. He sent a mail to you, an invitation to go visit him once again. So I'm going to go ahead and collect my reward. Which is, got, I got a few little things here. As well as the invitation from Jeremy. And a little bit later, you can go back to the same place to visit Jeremy in his cabin. He will send you on the second half of the quest. I'm, uh, this is it for the guide, so I'll just let you guys watch this if you want. I hope you enjoy the video. See you soon. A fan. Good timing. Do you have a camera? Sure. What are you talking about? Liars! Damn liars! Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah. Good. You'll do then. What do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Isn't that out in the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. You do, right? Well, you know, some of them. Listen, I know how to catch fish. Oh, come on. I don't want to go out to Rio Bravo. Ah, it'll be an adventure. Come on. I've got quite enough adventures. <sighs> I'll give you something you really love. <sighs> okay, then. So, the 
catfish in the desert. Is that normal? No, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It's adapted to a new environment, turned a horrible pallid yellow color, and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. What? Oh, yes. I still need a good name for it. The fans love a name. Old Chalky. El Diablo Amarillo. Uh, I'll come up with something. I always do. I already have a draft of this written for my newspaper column. You haven't caught it yet? Yes, but never has a conclusion been more foregone. So, what exactly am I getting out of this again? What are you getting out of it? Only the best day of your mundane little existence. How often do you get to be a part of a legend? To experience a masterclass in extreme angling up close and personal. To watch an artiste paint his masterpiece. I was talking about money. Good God, the avarice. Do you think Hannibal was haggling as he went over the Alps? You'll be handsomely rewarded, don't you worry about that. A Japanese man once offered me $500 just for an hour of my company. I told him, add a zero, and then maybe we can talk, chum. A whole hour, huh? <laughs> ah, this is the place. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? Oh, no, catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashers of bacon and that boy will be fine. Listen, I want you to get a picture of me actually landing the thing. I'll try. No, you do your best. Okay, chum? Set up over there. <laughs> yes, boss. <sighs> Like I said, fame hasn't changed me, but it has opened a lot of doors that were previously closed. I'm actually planning on turning fishing into a way of, well, uniting nations. <laughs> I'm gonna head to D.C., discuss it with the president. Then I'm gonna head over to Europe, oh, bring the royal families together while I teach them how to fish. Hurry up. Let's catch this fish and go home. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> and now we wait. That's the thing about fish. They can sense when you're desperate. Sure. Yeah. So we gotta stay calm. Just... <sighs> relax. Hooray. You know, I write poems. Would you like to hear... No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> I got invited to China. I'm gonna fish with the emperor there. Where is this goddamn catfish? Then I said, listen, sister, I don't care if you're the queen of Sheba, not just of England. Fishing is an art form. <laughs> yeah, well, she kept quiet after that. <laughs> Ah, oh, until dinner. <laughs> hey, chum. Uh, uh. Wake up. The fish can tell if you're sleeping. Yeah, sorry. Where is that damn fish? I was out there for five days wrestling that monster. <laughs> but I got him in the end. Ah, you know, the villagers were so grateful, the chief gave me his daughter. Hey, chum. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. We got something. Oh, oh we got something. <laughs> Is it that catfish? <laughs> it's something big. Oh. Good. Hurry up. Oh, no, don't you rush me, chum. This is me and the gods wrestling for immortality. Oh, 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 oh my God! It's a monster! Oh, oh God, he's gone again. Damn! Oh, oh, no, no, I still got him on the line. You get ready! Oh, 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 oh. he's gonna come back again. I'm gonna pull him in just a little bit. I'm gonna tire him out. Get the camera ready! I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh come on, boy! Come on, boy! <laughs> Oh, come on, he's huge! Come on! Here, get this! Get this! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here comes him off! Oh, oh. 